I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Welcome to this video where I am going to show you how to get 3D STL files into your Vectric software from when you purchase them, specifically when you purchase them from IDC Woodcraft, because there are certain steps that you have to take. And a lot of users don't really know these steps that you need to take. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to do this in the Vectric software because that's what I use. If you use other design software, I'm not really sure how. You'll have to search that up on YouTube on how to import 3D files into your other design software besides Vectric. So let's get into this. So we are here on the IDC Woodcraft website and we are in the, the design files category. And what I did is I actually purchased the American flag with the kneeling soldier. This is a flat STL file. So what I mean by flat, the American flag is flat, but it's got a lot of detail in it. So we're gonna just kind of go in close and you can see his nice raised detail on this flag. The soldier has a lot of detail. So we added it to cart and I made the purchase. So. Once I made the purchase, you're going to get an email and that email is going to say your downloads are ready. And so you'll come into the email and it's going to have this download link. You select that download link and you're going to come to this page where it says the file that you have ordered and it tells you what it is right through there and then the download now button. So when you select the download now button, you're going to see this little area right up here in your Windows browser where that little blue circle is filling up around that arrow. That's indicating that it's downloading. And once it completely downloads, you'll have this little pop-up right there. Now, what we want to do is go over to our directory. So I'm going to open up the directory and bring it up here. So what we have here is this download. Now you're going to notice there's this little zipper going across this file. So what that's telling us is that it is a zipped file. We need to extract that file first before we can do anything with it. Otherwise, it's not gonna work in your design software. So you wanna to come to the downloads folder, which is uh, right there where I'm at, and it says downloads right at the top. And we're going to click that file, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this little uh, word that says extract all come up. If you don't see that, right click over the file, and you should see extract all right there. And you can click that or you can click the word right up there. So we're gonna click it with the drop down, select that, and it's going to open up in this little menu here. And what this is doing is saying, do you want to create your download in the downloads folder right there under this other folder that I have. And then it's gonna be called Memorial Day file. We're gonna say yes. So what it's gonna do, it's going to create that new directory right here with the unzipped file. So we're going to click extract. And now you see it's extracting and we're just going to, it's created a new folder, but you can see, or a new directory, but you can see right here, we now have extracted that file. So I'm going to close that little window that popped up. Now what we can do is we'll just go into here and there it says Memorial Day uh, final. Double click that and here's your files. The first one is the STL file. It's gonna say it right there, STL. And the next one is just an image. So when we double click that image, we are going to see what that STL file looks like, which is this right here. Okay, now we are ready to import this into our Vectric software. So I'm going to switch over to Vectric and we're gonna set up a job, go create a new file. And let's just say our material is 24 by 24. First of all, this is a single-sided job. So we just set up our material 24 by 24 by 0.75 and we're in inches. And I'm gonna set my Z0. I like to set my Z0 at the bottom of the machine bed. And then whatever position you want to set it up here. The reason why I like to do it on the machine bed is in case I lose my position, I can just re-zero right off the machine bed. All right, so first thing I wanna do is actually save this, this design file. So we're gonna come in here and click the uh, little save icon right there. If you don't have the save icon, just come up and click the edit button at the top, go to options, and then when the window pops up, scroll down until you see general settings. And then the fourth item down will say show additional file operations. Yours would say no. Just click this little drop down right there and change that to yes. And then click OK and apply. 
and you'll be good to go. We have already got that set up. So we're gonna save this file and I'm gonna save it temporarily in that particular directory. So I'm gonna go right into that directory. We have the Memorial Day file and I'm just gonna call it um, soldier with flag. And we're gonna click save. Now you can see at the top it says soldier with flag. So now we're gonna import this 3D file. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can go to file at the very top and then come down to import and then import a component or 3D file or you can just use this little icon right here when you hover over it it says import a component or 3D model it's the same thing so we're going to click that and then what we need to do is go to our downloads directory and we are going to go to the memorial day file now you're going to see you can't see the zip file there it is still there but it's not going to bring up anything that's zipped so we're going to double click that and double click it again to get into that and now there is our STL file. Select that and click open. And that is going to bring in that 3D model. Now you notice it switched to the 3D view screen from the 2D view screen. Now if you notice this, first of all the red square there is our material. It's 24 by 24. And when we rotate this around you see the model first of all is off center and second of all it's quite a bit larger than the material. So first thing we're going to do is just get it centered up. So you're going to have this import 3D model trans, uh, transform screen here. And the first thing we want to do is center the model. So select center the model. And now that model has centered up. And now we need to resize it because it's way too big for our material. The way we do that is come down to model size. Now first you want to make sure that the lock XYZ ratio is checked. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the X and Y on this and then we'll take care of the Z. So we know our material is 24 wide by 24 tall. So it's an X is 24 wide and Y is 24 tall. So we need to get this X under 24. So we're going to say 23 and we're going to click apply and now our project is just under the size of the material but if we look at it on the edge it is still thicker than the material so we need to get that set up so when you come back over here you can see in the z it says it's 2.6176 now our material we set up is 0.75 so we need to change this but we don't want to change our x and y so you want to uncheck this lock XYZ ratio. So it's unchecked and then we can change this number to 0.75 and click apply. And now the project has changed its thickness and you can see that it is now the thickness of the material. We can actually go a little bit thinner, which is probably what we want to do. So we're going to say 0.74 and apply because we'd, we want to make sure we get the top of the material. Okay, so now we're going to hit the position and import button. So select that, and what you're gonna see, we're gonna click this little toggle box right here where it says front, so I can reorient this. And now we're on the front, and you're gonna see this red line, which is our material. That's uh, 0.75. Now you see this line going through here. That's a little gray line. That's what we call our zero, uh, zero plane and, or our modeling plane. Now, we can leave this alone, but the one thing we want to do is make sure we don't check this box where it says discard data below the zero plane. If we do, when we import the model, everything that's below that gray plane is going to be gone. So. Make sure this is not checked and then click import. And the software is going to do its job and now we have the project imported. And that my friend is how you install. And that my friend is how you download, unzip and install a 3D model into your Vectric software. If this video is helpful, give me that thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me what I helped you out with. And if you have any questions, put those in the comments as well. I might shoot a video for you to answer that question. With that, my friend, you have a great CNC day and I'll catch you in the next video. IDCWoodcraft.com